Boys be completely honest what makes a girl go from 10 to 1 instantly. Story 1. Was on a first date once, with what seemed like a sweet girl and she then bragged to me how she and her best friend would go to clubs and hit on ugly guys to lead them on, then laugh at them for thinking they had a chance. She was actually proud of this. Story 2. Constantly complaining about anything and everything. There has to be something you enjoy. That or never taking responsibility for your own faults and always having to blame someone or something else. Edit. Hopefully my original comment didn't sound like this is exclusive to women. Anyone can exhibit this behavior regardless of gender or s Just as a male who is attracted to women, this has been my experience for traits that can drop a woman from a 10 to a 1. Story 3. My last boyfriend did this, my last boyfriend did that. Well s***, go back to your last boyfriend then. Story 4. Being mean to animals. Story 5. Thinking they own a certain look or idea. I dated this girl who thought everyone was copying her, and it drove me up a wall. Stuff like, I just think it's funny how everyone started wearing Nike right after I bought these shoes, no amount of explanation could change her mind on this. Most absurd example was when she got a week off work due to a family emergency in late November, and then it's like all of a sudden everyone is planning vacations. Maybe because it's Christmas. Pretty funny in hindsight. Story 6. Lack of empathy for others if they think they are better than a server or valet, etc., they are trash. Story 7. 1. Physical violence. 2. Infidelity. 3. 4. Scientology. 5. Needless cruelty. Story 8. 1. Treating restaurant staff badly. 2. Dishonesty. 3. Manipulative behavior. Story 9. They have to do a TikTok dance in the middle of a busy public area. Story 10. 1. Playing on phone while having an in-person conversation. 2. Littering. 3. Being a shitty parent. Story 11. No hobbies. I don't want someone who wants me to entertain them. I want someone who has their own life and their own friends and doesn't feel abandoned if I want to spend time on my own or going out with my own friends. Story 12. I was in love with a girl when I was a teen. I was smitten. She was a 10. She had a cat. One day it made her mad and she grabbed the cat and hurled it against the wall. I instantly despised her from there on out. Since she lived close, I also stole said cat a few weeks later. She didn't deserve Muffin, I renamed him afterward. I don't think she ever noticed, I didn't talk to her anymore. Story 13. For me more like one word response or show no interest in the conversation. I can carry so much, but can't engage if she doesn't put some effort. Story 14. Had a date a few weeks ago, we agreed to meet at a local restaurant that has two locations. She wanted to go to the one closer to the highway. To be fair, I was about three or four minutes late, but I walked in and she wasn't there. She actually went to the wrong one, but she got mad at me for it. I attempted to salvage the date and we agreed to order takeout and meet at her place. The address she gave me was wrong. She lived at Street Place and the address she told me was Street Drive, which are about 15 minutes away from each other. She's messaging me about how impatient she's getting the whole time I'm trying to decipher where I'm supposed to go. I don't text and drive, and she got upset I wasn't responding to her. 1. Gets upset with you for their mistake. 2. Gets upset with you for their mistake again. 3. Gets mad that you aren't endangering yourself and others by texting and driving. Story 15. One time I dated this girl I met from Tinder. We went on adventures like hiking and rollerblading, and it was getting a little more serious. We slept together after the third date and I wanted to see her again the next day after we both worked because I fall easily and become like monogamous after <laughs> So we go to work and after we decide to go to the bar with some of my friends. I wanted to introduce her to them and kind of flex, show her off a bit. We get there and I swear to God when she met my friend Jess she completely ignored me for the rest of the night and left with him. They ended up getting together and split after a few months and she had the gall to text me to hang out again after. I think I'm still emotionally scared from that. She was perfect just the two of us, then she had zero loyalty to me in a social setting. To be fair I never communicated that I wanted us to be exclusive, but I still felt betrayed by both of them. Story 16. Girls that are obsessed with social media and can't live in the moment. Story 17. Girls who think using an Android phone is a deal breaker. Story 18. Inability to be accountable or apologize. Being rude to service industry folks no self-awareness, generally being a spoiled or narcissistic person. Story 19. Her only personality trait is that she's a 10. 
Story 20. Not having an open mind when it comes to not-so-crucial things like art, food, etc. I don't ask anyone to like what I like. Just have an open mind instead of dissing it outright. Life is too short to be b This is a good note to end on. Please write your stories in the comments. I'll be happy to add them to future videos. Also, you can rate our other videos. We would be very grateful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.